Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 and in this lesson we are going to do the reverse process where we are going to take an arpeggio in the right hand and then spice up the groove and make it sound a bit more folksy with the left hand playing the 16th note which you uh, heard of in the last video. However, in this lesson just to make it a bit more interesting I'm going to use triplets and not 16th notes. So the way 16th notes worked was 1E and 2E and 3E and 4E and right? The way triplets are going to work is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So it has that galloping triplet feel. Now in the right hand we are not going to play triplets. We are just going to play swing 8th notes. Let me just focus on the D major chord in the last video in the right hand this time. So some of you may be counting this as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 uh, 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 and so on. That's completely fine. That makes it like, you know, Roadhouse Blues. Right? But what we need to understand is with a swing rhythm, it's sort of like playing a triplet without the middle beat. See? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So the 2 is basically absent with swing. Pretty much. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So I'm going to capture the 2's in my left hand. the one you know usually piano players play the one very often you can still play the one you have the pinky finger which you can use uh, along with all this stuff going on uh, if you can I mean if you can't I would suggest starting this way and then building towards getting the chord root with your with just this finger of the left hand That's what happened. I started with the one. probably felt was just a succession of triplets 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 but the evolution of that can can happen in the left hand as well as the right hand the left hand can build new chord structures while the right hand at the top register can build new melodies so the possibilities with this technique are quite a bit uh, i would say endless uh, i myself am still practicing this and uh, i use this a lot in my music which you could check out. 
so yeah in conclusion part 1 we took the left hand lhmh and then played something at the e or the a in the right hand with one note and then built from there and in this part you took a chord in the right hand played a swing imagine the triplet 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 it ta ta it ta it ta ta it ta one and a two and whatever and play the middle one and after a while try to bring back the one So I hope you found this lesson useful. Again, this is Jason Zack here from the Nathaniel School of Music, and if you found the lesson useful, please hit the subscribe button as soon as possible, and also the bell button, which is somewhere near the video. I'm sure you'll find that bell, and uh, by doing all that, you'll basically get an update whenever we do a a next a next lesson, and share it around with your friends. as well and i'll see you in the next one cheers